Hello YouTube and welcome to this video. Today is a bit of a weird video. I've had this Radeon HD 6450 for about three, maybe four years now. And the actual graphics chip itself is a, the, like the very corner of it is a tiny bit damaged. Uh, and I don't know if this card actually works, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart, put some new thermal paste on it, which is why I've got this out, so thermal paste is in there, uh, put some new thermal paste on it, screw it back together, try it in my computer and see if it works. If it does work, then fair enough, I'll sell it as a working, um, a working card. Well, I say sell it. I, I want to sell it, but who's looking for a 6450? It's 2016 when we've got 1080s. But yeah, I'll either sell... If it does work, I'll put it up for sale on eBay. Just someone might buy it. And if it doesn't work, then I'll either keep it to refine the precious metals off it, or I'll just sell it as scrap. Anyway, lecture over. I've already done that. Let's get rid of that. Now we need to take this out. It's wood, it's not conductive, so I can put it on it. Well, it's laminate, but still, it's. I don't think it's conductive. So, it is those screws. Where did I put my screw? Oh, they're over here. See, look at me being all prepared. That screwdriver seems to fit every screw to ever exist that is of Phillips-type shaped head thingy. There's one screw, there's two screws. Right, now let me show you the damage to this chip. But as you can see up on that corner there, there is like a chipped corner. The corner is damaged and as a result I don't know if this graphics card works or not. So I'm going to put some thermal paste on it, plug it into my computer, see if it works. If it blows up, well, I mean like it physically goes pop or whatever, then well that will just be more of the entertainment. If it blows up, better not damage that motherboard. That was expensive. Anyway, let's uh, let me just zoom you in a bit. <laughs> that way. Uh, this thermal paste is also from 2012 when I built my system, and as a result, I can't even. Oh yeah, we're still a liquid. Okay. No, it's a. Uh, uh. Okay, that'll do. Yes, you may have seen I did clean it with a bit of tissue. Never do that, but if I'm honest, not really expecting this graphics card to work. So, yeah, now I just need to put this back on. So, where's my phone? I'm going to use my phone as like a stand support thing. All right, let me just zoom you out. So I've got a, I can work around a larger space. Here we go. I can't even see those those holes. Oh, it's slidey. Let me get a screwdriver that actually fits better. Because those screws are tiny. I thought they were bigger, but they're not. Uh, that one should work. This one should fit fine. Oh yeah, this one fits better. Wait, was this one not even screwed in? Right, that was quick, easy, simple. No, oh, I still do it the wrong way. Remember, it's reversed. There we go, a new thermal paste has been put on this graphics card. And now I need to install this in my computer. So here you can see my computer on the floor. Now, if I were you, I would recommend you do this like on a workbench or something. But as I'm literally just going to plug the graphics card in to see if I get a signal, uh, I'm just going to leave it all plugged in. I have unplugged it from the mains power, by the way, so there's no power going into the system, and no power can go in because it's unplugged. But uh, I'm just going to leave it like this, plug the graphics card in. Of course, I'm going to move this mount thing, uh, the GPU brace, and then plug in my HDMI cable and see if I get a signal. If I do, then, well, I'll presume that the graphics card works, and if I don't, it's obviously dead, and my speaker thing is coming out, there we go. Uh, so first let's remove the GPU brace. Anyway, here we go. Let's plug in 
the uh, what is it 6450 and I'll put the power back into my 970 because if I don't the fans will turn on 100% and it'll sound like a hairdryer let's just remove both monitors from the 970 otherwise it'll use that and I don't want it to use that one right there we go the only display input is now the 650 uh, 6450 because I said uh, my GTX 650 Ti that's why I thought of it. We did have a post, but no display. Well, the heatsink is getting warm, but still no display. Uh, if the computer was going to boot, it would have booted by now because, well, it's running on an SSD. Uh, my monitor is still in standby mode, indicating that there is no signal being detected. Put it out of, well, pull it out of there and put it in to my 970, which I know for a fact. Well, oh look, instant! As soon as I plug it in the 970, mice come straight on, not a problem. Take it out the 970, put it back into the 650. Uh, the light's gone green, which does mean it's usually detected the signal, but yeah, oh no, no signal. No, uh, I, I believe this six, uh, 6450 is dead. No signal is being detected at all through it. So, yeah, I think that six, uh, 6450. Oh, it's dead. So let's turn the computer off. Uh, I could try the VGA my second... You know what? Let's try the VGA my second monitor. Why do you still use a VGA monitor? Because, well, I've had it for years and it just comes in handy. Uh, right, VGA. I'm not going to bother screwing it in. I'll just push it in. Oh. Right, yeah, there we go. Pushing it out of the uh, PCR over, plug it in, turn it on, then power on. No signal. No signal, there's been no like post screen or startup screen or whatever you want to call it. No, it's dead. Oh! No, that's a signal. That, that's my desktop. See? There's a desktop. Um, right. Let's go. Properties, device manager, display adapters, really on 6450. Look, it's detected. So does that mean the HDMI doesn't work? Let's plug it in the HDMI and no signal at all. Plug it into the VGA and it works. And uh, I know it says the 970. That's because the 970 is currently just plugged into the motherboard. But as you can see... Down the back there, there are no cables coming from it. The VGA is going into the 6450 and the HDMI is down there. So that screen is running off the 6450. So I guess that yes, the that graphics card does still work. Right, okay, testing over. I can now shut down. I know the screen's ridiculously dirty. Well, not dirty, just dusty. So, why is it the VGA works but the HDMI doesn't? No, you know what? I don't know why that's happened. And if I'm honest, I don't really care. Because the main test was to see if I could still get a signal from this card. And yes, I can. Right, 
Okay, so I know that works now. There's a testing complete. I can say, so yes, this Asus uh, Radeon HD 6450 does actually work with that uh, small bit of damage on the corner that you saw. But the HDMI didn't seem to send out a signal. Hmm, never mind. I'll still sell it anyway. Or put it up for sale, whether someone buys it or not. I don't know. So now I'm just going to put it back in its bag. Yes, it is still a bit warm, but... Never mind. Don't have time to be letting it cool. Uh, that'll do. There we go. This is Radeon HD 6450. Still works. Even though it does have that slight bit of damage on the corner. It's took me three years to get around to recording this video, by the way. Yeah, so there is... There's the end of that video over, I guess. Because I've done everything that I was wanting to do. And I have a result, which is this card still works. So... I guess that's it for this video, so thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Well, speak to you. I'm still in the habit of saying see you when it should be speak to you. But anyway, yeah, I'll speak to you in the next video.